Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there guys, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme park so welcome to a theme park newsroom update now personally i've been struggling a lot at the moment with uh illness uh, going with a cold but uh, i'm going to try and plow through the videos that i'm pre-recording uh tonight but this is one of them for tonight and this is pandemonium at drayton manor and the official announcement from the park that the ride is closing we're going to take a dive into the history books about this ride the stats about this ride and also share my thoughts on the closure of pandemonium and sort of link this to something that was sent by my inside source about Drayton Manor so before we get started please like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video also guys check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the closure of pandemonium at Drayton Manor theme park so Drayton Manor have officially said on their blog calling all thrill seekers it's your last chance to ride pandemonium since opening in 2004, the gravity-defying pandemonium has been one of our most thrilling attractions, with its infamous swinging gondola sending passengers soaring at a full 360 turn. But sadly, all good things must come to an end. From Friday the 28th of October to Sunday 31st of October, we're inviting brave fat ride fans to experience pandemonium's hot racing pendulum swing before it closes to pave way for the exciting new developments to the park. As part of Looping Group's significant investment plans, Pandemonium's closure will enable us to continue to expand our offering and make our resort an even better destination for theme park fans, young and old. Going out with a bang, riders will be able to enjoy their final swing on Pandemonium during the epic Brit-tastic fireworks display Extravaganza Weekend, which takes place on Friday 29th and Saturday 30th of October, and features an awe-inspiring fireworks and laser display for guests to enjoy, set to an upbeat soundtrack celebrating the very best of iconic British music. A spokesperson from Drayton Manor Park said the following, We know how much our brave riders have loved boarding Pandemonium since we opened it 17 years ago so we're calling all thrill seekers to enjoy one last chance to ride this weekend while it is the end of an era for pandemonium we have big plans in the pipeline to expand our offering and make the park as exciting as possible for our guests and we can't wait to reveal the new developments for 2022 tickets for the closing weekend the Britastic fireworks extravaganza are still available online at drayton.co.uk forward slash fireworks book early to avoid disappointment now let's share a bit of history around the pandemonium so feel the g-force you reach new heights on this intense thrill ride two gondolas swing in opposite directions hurtling past each other and getting higher until riders are thrown to a full 60 degree turn you won't know which way is up as you fly in circles at heart stopping speeds on pandemonium the ride that will leave you reeling push yourselves to new limits on this thrilling adventure as you experience the intense speed and power of one of the scariest rides not for the faint-hearted even the most dedicated thrill seekers will be on the edge of their seats now this this ride opened in 2004 with the height of the ride at 25 meters and a maximum ride capacity of 64. For height restrictions you have to be a minimum 1.4 meters and 2 meters maximum to ride this attraction. Now of course this was manufactured by the Fabry Group and of course the, what, this was actually a replacement uh, for the park's old Skyflyer so they took out the Skyflyer after many years in operation and then brought this brand new Fabry model in for the 2004 season so very interesting history uh, around the site of the ride. Now let's share my thoughts on this closure of the attraction and also something that links to an old leak that I was sent by my inside source about the future of the site. So construction has been spotted on the Vertigo site of Drayton Manor and the reason why that is linking to what's been going on with pandemonium is because of the leak that was sent to me by my inside source now for those of you who didn't watch the last train manor video where we talked about this i'll remind you what the leak was all about it was a zampola mega disco coaster 
um, that was originally said to be coming into the Adventure Cove area, but now is not. As well as a Zamperla Nebula's attraction, as well as a coaster by Gislora themed to the Viking theme. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the leaks um, from the inside source, about the whole Viking area, this Gerslau roller coaster, a Zampella Nebulas, a Zampella Mega Disco ride to the park. And that will be going where uh, Pandemonium is, Test Track is, and Apocalypse is. Apocalypse, of course, the Intamin Drop Tower. Rumours about that closing at the end of the season as well. And, of course, Pandemonium closing at the end of this month in just a couple of days' time, two, three days' time time um, and of course we've got the closure of, of test trap the little sort of car mini game kind of thing that sort of replaced one of the other attractions so um, you know with those three attractions closing and all that space opening up right near to the buffalo coaster and also don't forget the vertigo site as well it's definitely starting to link up and put two and two together now with the closure of pandemonium with what's rumored to be the closure of apocalypse as well it looks like it's, we're getting very, very clear and very, very soon to the uh, um, to this brand new Viking area starting to take shape with this brand new roller coaster, the two Zampella flat rides, maybe more in the site, who knows? Um, but the, you, you could tell that I had a good source because it's starting to look, it's starting to mix together now. It's starting to combine. It's starting to link together well now. So uh, very interesting indeed. But there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Chow, Keatley on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a pandemonium-tastic day. Rest in peace to the old ride. You've had a good run.